Hello class, my name is Uguma Humza and today I will be presenting syphilis. Today we're going to go over the introduction, the history, the symptoms, the treatments, the diagnosis, the transmission, <coughs> the preventions, the de demog demog demographics, the experiment, and the conclusion. So syphilis is caused by the spirochete bacterium Tramponema pallidum. There are two types of syphilis, neurosyphilis and just syphilis itself. Neurosyphilis tends to be more fatal because it attacks the brain. Syphilis, not so much because it just attacks internal organs such as the liver. History. This bacterium was first identified by a man called Fritz Schauden and Eric Hoffman. Syphilis was first, the first, epi first outbreak or epidemic was in 1495 in France. It also came to one of the kings in France, and this would be considered the first outbreak, basically. Syphilis's name originated from a Greek farmer in ancient Greece. That's where uh, Eric Schronin and uh, Eric Hoffman got the name from. And syphilis is originally came from Europe. Symptoms of syphilis are very similar to other STDs like chlamydia and gonorrhea. There are three stages, the primary stage, the secondary stage, and the latent stage. The latent stage can also be considered the hidden stage. Sorry. The primary stage and the second stage are pain painful, but they're not as fatal as latent stage. And latent stage is more fatal because, as I said earlier, attacks the brain. In the primary stage, you usually get chancres all over your body, which are usually hard, painless uh, bumps on your skin. And usually in, they become reddish or brownish later on, if it's severe. Um, usually they can be found in the general, general areas, and this is why it, it's confused for gonorrhea. the second day stage, you get chancres and rashes. I forgot to mention earlier, in the <coughs> primary stage, you can, the, the rashes and the chancres will go away without medication, but if you do not medicate it in the, prim the, the primary stage and secondary stage, you will still have syphilis until you treat it, because it's harder to treat in the latent stage. The rashes can be also reddish or brown when, when severe, and you can also get mucosis membrane lesions all over your genital areas, or even your lip or, lip or mouth. Latent stage, that's hidden stage, is the most fatal of all the stages. It hides and seeks an opportunity in your immune system. It's an syphilis can be an opportunist uh, SCD if it wants to. It causes damage in your internal, your internal organs, mainly your liver, and if it's near syphilis, it can also attack your brain. This might even cause death. Transmission. Syphilis can be transmitted through vertical transmission, which is when the mother has syphilis and she gives it to her baby. It can also be transmitted through men who have sex with men, and also oral, vaginal, or anal sex. It can also be transmitted through chancres, uh, which are the sores I mentioned earlier. If you have sex, if you uh, come in touch with them, that person can contract the disease. And it might take up to a week, three, three days to a week for that person to actually show sy symptoms of the disease. Okay. Okay. Doctors diagnose disease by taking blood samples. It's a very simple way. Then they take blood tests using microscopy to run the blood tests. They start, they're trying to look for the bacterium and see if they can medicate you before it gets to the latent stage. So make sure when you see any bumps or sores, make sure you go see it before it gets too late. It's too late. Okay. So another way you want to be able to notify your sex, your sex partners, so they will be able to go, the doctor can diagnose them as well, so you may not spread the disease. 
treatment. It can be treated by many antibiotics, but the main one is Benzidin Penicillin G. Um, this this uh, antibiotic uh, usually treats people, the patients, in the primary and secondary stage. However, it can only have an effect in the late stage if it's early on. It rarely affects it when it's past the early late stage. So, yeah. It also does not repair any damage done. So as I said earlier, make sure you go to the doctor as quick as possible. God. All right. Preventions, uh, as usual for any STDs, have protected sex by using condoms. You can also get pre-vaccinations, which we have in the United States today. We have uh, for the ages 11 and 12. Also, you want to get a, these same vaccinations. You can get them older when you're pregnant. And you want to get it as soon as you're pregnant because if you have syphilis and you're pregnant, you want to make sure your baby is not have syphilis. And you have a 75 to 8% 75 to chance of stopping your baby having syphilis. Right. Also, you can have the absence of sex to stop it. And also reduction of sex You can also have antitroviral uh, therapy. This is usually used for HIV, but sometimes it does work on syphilis. I just wanted to add this in there because I thought it was interesting. It says it's for usually used for viruses. So, Also, another one that I found interesting was male circumcision because uh, males that have been circumcised, have eight, they have 81% less bacteria in their general areas, which can prevent uh, you from getting the bacteria that causes syphilis. Syphilis uh, demographics. Syphilis is mainly conducted by min min minorities, mainly uh, black male and Hispanic males, and sometimes uh, women of those minorities. 75% of men who have sex with men end up contracting the disease. And antiretroviral an therapy decreases the unaffected partner's chance <coughs> of getting the syphilis, syphilis by 96%. And syphilis is mostly found in the Americas, South America rarely, and Europe. The experiment. This experiment was took place in Tuskegee, Alabama, and it was done by the United States Public Health Service. They did experiments in order to determine the natural course of the natural uh, determine the natural causes my bad cause of how syphilis can be treated. Right, and see how many people, how many males or women can be, uh, can, can contract the disease. <coughs> right, the first trial consisted of syphilitic men, men and women, and 200 infected men who served as controls. The article states, the article states, and back then they were had many stereotypes and racial slurs back to minorities, mainly the blacks, and. It said that the most common reason for black males' ability to get syphilis is because they were not educated and that they were sexually aggressive. This was uh, a quote that one of the writers of the citations uh, put. An experiment was performed by taking blood samples and running tests, like I said, uh, for diagnosis. And it was shown that most of the black males and most of the minorities, like I said earlier, uh, were contracted disease. And without the medication in the primary and secondary stage, most people would go on later to either die or become severely ill without the medication. This can be very dangerous if not treated. It can also, if not treated, it progresses to the third stage. Also, uh, I think that, in my opinion, it can be, it's a very self made uh, problem because all I have to do is make sure you contain you have who you have sex with, first of all, and make sure if you have it, you get tested. If you, if you don't have it, make sure you get tested to make sure you don't have any STDs, all right? in general, and make sure you have protected sex, basically. I hope you all learned something today, and 
Thank you for my citations. Ready? Are you serious? Questions for Aguma? Yes, Chris. Um, so Aguma, I just wanted to ask, do you know anybody of importance with syphilis? Uh, I have to do further research. What is circumcision? Circumcision is when they, uh, there's extra uh, skin over uh, the penis, and they cut that skin off, and uh, it contains many, uh, lots of bacteria. So that's why I said earlier that it has a one percent less chance of getting bacteria. Yes, Jordan. Okay, what's the mortality rate for your disease? Uh, I looked for mortality rate, but the only uh, thing I could find was that it was well, if it gets to the third stage, past early latent stage, then you have a seventy-five percent chance of either getting ill or dying. Any more questions? Yes, Melvin. Uh, I'm curious, if in your research you read anything about the ethical issues surrounding the Tuskegee experiment that you talked about? Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I didn't, I would, it wouldn't be sure. I, there's another quote that was also had also racial slurs in it. I didn't, I didn't want to bring, put it in there, though. Mm -hmm. uh, it was mainly, they, they, the, the hypothesis of the experiment was that mainly black males were able to, were going to contract the disease. And uh, it was pretty much all, it's mainly done to stop uh, white women from getting the contracting the disease because they said uh, white women are in danger because of the black males. Mm -hmm. That's one of the quotes from the articles I read. And so I just didn't know if I wanted to add, add it in or not. So, yeah, I think that's yeah. relevant context. And as you know, Alabama was very racial. So. Yeah. Steven? Um, you said um, there are three stages of syphilis. So are the three stages common in regular and syphilis? Yes, it's just that uh, usually the primary and secondary stage, as I said, uh, usually in the primary you get rashes, and when you have neurosyphilis, you get rashes more in primary, and they just continue on to this uh, secondary stage. That's like the main difference between uh, syphilis and neurosyphilis. It's that in the third stage, it attacks your brain quicker than it does in syphilis. Quincy? Oh, yeah. I wanted to know if the author was a racist or not. Or do you know? Off of what he said, I would say yes. But uh, otherwise, no, I don't know for sure, but yeah. Okay, jazz hands.